Okay, so thank you for joining us again for this session uh, from SURF. Uh, they're going to be speaking about Train the Train module, redesign your teaching with open educational resources. We are looking forward to your presentation. Uh, please, you can go ahead and start. Okay, thank you very much. Um, welcome everybody um, to our session. Um, in the next 20 minutes or so, uh, we want to talk to you about our roadmap to design a process around OER within higher education institutions. A train the trainer session we developed for people to get started with organizing the workshop and our strategy to bring open into the Dutch higher education institutions. Um, so um, my name is uh, Lieke Rensink and I'm a project leader, leader um, on OER at SURF. And my colleague is Michel Janssen, Wave Michel, and um, he's aye, also aye. a project leader um, OER at SURF. Um, SURF, um, SURF is a collaborative organization for higher education and research and IT. Uh, more than 100 educational institutions uh, and research institutions in the Netherlands work together in SURF Cooperative to fully utilize the opportunities of digital, digitalization. And what, what do we want to do? We want to make education and research better and more flexible. Um, my ambition is that by 2025, all teachers at Dutch higher education institutions uh, make their teaching materials openly available and that we thus fully fulfill a pioneering role in the world. Well, this is the statement of our Minister um, of Education, Jet Bussemaker, in 2015. And since then, SURF, together with the Dutch higher education institutions, worked really hard to establish this. Um, we worked on infrastructure level, we worked on policy level, um, on professionalization level and organizational level. And here are just some examples of what we have been doing together with the institutions, um, uh, higher education institutions, but also with the acceleration plan um, uh, zone towards digital uh, open educational resources. Um, we built an infrastructure um, a repository and a Dutch search engine, Edu Sources, which will be a service for higher education in the Netherlands from January next year. Um, we have um, a vision and policy. We, for vision and policy, we developed a roadmap for institutions, developed their own policy on OER, and around professionalization and organizational support. We have several roadmaps, like the introduction to OER or um, uh, different kinds about quality. Um, and the one for, for policymakers. Um, and uh, we combine that with workshops and meetings and so on. And we focus on communities of teachers. Collaboration is a really big part of it. We collaborate with special interest groups um, and also with a library work group on OER. And um, uh, as I mentioned, the, the acceleration uh, plan zone, um, digital educational resources. All our um, all our roadmaps you can find on on this link. Um, Michelle can also uh, share it um, in the in the chat. And um, I see now that uh, Robert uh, he he he's the the leader of uh, of the zone um, uh, from the uh, as, as, as it's a difficult word. Um, well, look at the link. We have a session this afternoon about what we do in the in the acceleration plan. Um, so this, um, this, uh, this is just, uh, 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 what we are, we have been doing, but it's been a difficult process and pr you all probably recognize, uh, this, um, there are many barriers for teachers and support staff. Uh, they, they come across, uh, a lot of barriers and, um, it, it, it really is a cultural change that isn't done in a day. So how do we get a step further? Uh, we do reach teachers, but they experience these barriers, so uh, upscaling is difficult. Our solution is uh, we try to get OER on the agenda in every higher, edu higher education institution in the Netherlands. We developed um, a uh, basic OER workshop and the whole trajectory around it, uh, which is easily adaptable for every institution in the Netherlands or uh, you guys, <laughs> um, and it focuses on lecturers and support staff getting started and removing barriers. 
so we designed a roadmap and a train a trainer module to um, yeah to get started. Um, let's take a, a, a closer look at the workshop, Michelle. Yes, thank you, Lieke. Okay, so the first goal of the of the the workshop is a goal for the lectures. Um, because they are gonna um, join the, the, the workshops in their inter institutions and they have to redesign their own course. And we hope they will use OER, but we don't sell it as an OER workshop. Um, the idea is with this workshop, they will get the redesign of their course. That's the main thought. Plan is that you can organize, organize this training in your institution. Don't organize it on your own because it's better that you work together with people from your departments at your own institution. For example, you, it can be a col collaboration between the library staff, and educational support. Um, so if you work together, it will be more effective. Uh, the training has three stages, preparation, an online meeting and a follow up. And they, these take place in about two months. The first assignment a teacher receives is that he or she should check out our roadmap introduction to open educational resources. This is one of the roadmaps Lika pointed out. And this is what the module looks like. And in the chat, you will find the, the link to this uh, roadmap. Um, and it's a brief introduction to um, OER. And by completing this module, you will master the basic knowledge of OER. Uh, and this module is also an OER, an open educational resource. So you can copy it, reuse it, and um, yeah, do what <laughs> with it, what you want to. Um, so after the uh, introduction, we asked them also to collect information about their own course because they have to redesign their course uh, in this training. So they need, uh, they need to know all the preconditions of this course and they must research educational materials in advance. In the online meeting, we take a closer look at OER. Uh, we have a Creative Commons quiz and a talk about possibilities within the organization. We give our presentations with more information about specific uh, repositories that are useful for especially this group of teachers. Uh, we split it up in breakout groups, discuss the resources uh, everyone has found, and each breakout group has contains of contains an educational support and advisor. And then after this online meeting, we have to uh, we do have the follow up meeting. Uh, there we will talk about the progress everyone has made with these barriers that they have experienced uh, and the redesign uh, of their course. And uh, this is also a time for us to check uh, if the, the teachers need more support. So this is the main thought of the workshop, but there's more, there's a second um, goal and that's the goal for the support staff. Uh, by joining this, um, this workshop, they get a better view of the barriers the teachers and the lecturers experience. And on the base of that, they can organize better su support. Um, they get the same preparation assignments as the teachers. Uh, so they have to first uh, do the introduction module OER, and they have also look for the sp specific topics of the teachers for educational materials. But not only regular materials, but they have to look especially for open re educational resources. The rest of the training is the same, uh, and there's one more meeting for the um, support staff. And in this meeting, they have a discussion about the policy and the support they are, organization, they are organizing in their own institution. And on the base of that, they have to ask themselves, can we make better policies for OER? And can we improve our support? Okay, that's are the two 
goals or the two line, lanes in these workshops. Um, and to organize this kind of uh, training, we have uh, designed a roadmap. And this is how it looks like. It's the roadmap for developments of workshops, redesign your teaching using open educational resources. And in the chat, you will find the link to it. It's a really long uh, link. Um, and it's also, again, it's open, um, educate, it's open so you can uh, use it yourself, you can copy it. We, um, the basic idea was to organize face-to-face -face meetings, but due to COVID-19, we had to change our plans and we redesigned, redesigned everything for online. Um, so we redesigned everything and we add a, a, an extra step, step number seven. Um, and that will help you to organize the face-to-face -face meetings uh, when that's possible again. To test this roadmap, we organize, organized two pilots in two institutions. Um, <clears throat> the module has been improved on the base of this, those experiences and all the materials they used in this pilot workshops can be found in our national portal with OER. And especially today, the, our uh, Rijksuniversiteit Groningen is organizing the, the workshop for the second time already. So uh, it's quite a success. Um, SURF, of you have to know that SURF is a national organization. And we hope that this step-by-step -step plan that people will uh, apparently use it to organize workshops in our own institutions. And we organized a train the trainer sessions to, to stimulate this and to help the people on their way. We organized uh, this train the training meetings and we now did it twice. Uh, we had two times 20 uh, participants and the reactions were really uh, positive. Um, uh, we also asked them the, the people if you want if they want to join in a community of practice and almost the half the half of them uh, said yeah we want to to work together um, and organize these kind of workshops in our uh, institution and um, yeah so we're now organi organizing a community of practice around this um, roadmap Lieke, can you tell us something about our experiences and advice we have yes, to the people? I can, thank you. Um, so um, from our experience um, and also from uh, Groningen and uh, uh, the Han, where we did the pilots, uh, we experienced that working together is, is the main, uh, main team. Organize the workshop with people from different departments, so library, educational support, uh, policy departments. To make OER a success, you will need to get all these departments um, on board, so let them join in and uh, uh, in an early stage and, and, and uh, 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 do it together. Um, uh, Michel mentioned this already, uh, don't sell it as an OER workshop. Um, teachers want to be helped and they don't want new things <laughs> and they don't want to learn new new stuff. Uh, so um, we really focused on the reuse of material and the quality and it's a good selling point. Um, make it easy, as easy as possible for the teachers, help them redesign their own teaching. And uh, the next conclusion actually is um, uh, one that, that, that goes on from this one because of the two targets groups. I think that's the most important thing of this workshop. We have the teachers, they, they are the core of, of this. They, they, they need to want to use it, but without the support staff, without the policy makers, uh, with them, without them, um, you, you don't, um, you cannot uh, onboard a teacher, you cannot uh, uh, get OER a step further. So this is really the core of, of the, the conclusions. 
Um, also, we are building the community of practice around uh, the, um, the workshop with the train trainers or everybody, the experience in the Netherlands. We are trying to share uh, experiences and uh, learn from each other what works uh, in institutions, what doesn't work. But we're really in the beginning of this. Uh, so now uh, more institutions, more and more institutions are looking into it and starting with it. So uh, in the in the upcoming months, this this will uh, be an important part um, of what we're doing. And last but not least, take care, have fun and copy, use it, um, call us, um, email us, put it in the um, put it in the um, chats of our session, um, and share your experiences uh, experiences and uh, advice. Um, so get in touch. Um, here again, the the link of the roadmaps. Um, we will share our presentations afterwards and all the links uh, in the chat um, under our session. Thank you. Questions, probably. Thank you very much, Lee again, uh, Michael. This was a really lovely presentation, and thank you for sharing all of those links in the chat window. The roadmap is really great. Um, so I think there are some questions and there are some interesting exchanges in the chat window between participants as well. So the first question I think was from Bea. She was asking, what is the incentive for teachers to participate in this? Um, so what is driving this process for them? Um, we, we focus on every institution on their own. So it really is a, um, how do you say it, uh, op maat. Um, everybody makes their own um, um, their own workshop. So we really look into it. What is important in your institution? Uh, use that. So we made a basic. You can use that. Look at what the others did, but really tweak it to your own um, uh, you, uh, from your course or your institution. Um, so I think that's. Um, Michelle, do you have something to? No, and, and they want to join because they um, are helped to redesign their, their education, uh, their, their courses. Um, so we really sell it as we can help you. And it's not about OER, it's about making better education, making a better course. And that's also the reason why people want to join, I think. Okay, thank you very much uh, for the clarifications. The next question that was um, that sparked a little bit of a discussion is that you should not be selling this as a sort of OER activity or OER workshop. And I think some there are some uh, views for pros and cons. And so why not sell it as an OER workshop? Yeah, my experience is that the most most teachers do not have any connection with OER. They just want to spend their time on designing good education and give good education. Um, so we really want to help them. And if we say, oh, use OER, then they think, oh, we don't want this. Um, so it's, we want to help them. And if they use some other resources, it's really good as well. But in this workshop, we explain that there's more than just regular um, designing your course there's more there are more possibilities and there are possibilities for free the resources for free so we want to um verleid hoe zeg je dat lieke we want to um yeah, to show them the world that there's more and uh if we are lucky they're gonna they're gonna use oer if they see the power of it but if they don't no problem thank you very much i think that uh the approach is probably that works at specific institutions, might not work at other institutions. There is a plurality of approaches here, right? Yes, exactly, uh, because some institutions would want to uh, promote OER. And uh, so then that's totally fine. Then do that. But uh, our feeling is that it's better to use another strategy. But what works best for your institution? That's the uh, main topic, yeah. Yeah, and I think also what will work in your country. Uh, in Holland, everyone is really free and to do what they want to. Um, so if, you, if you're gonna say you have to do this, then everyone is thinking, no, I don't want to. So that's also the culture in Holland. Um, so it, it doesn't work in every country, I think. 
Well, thank you very much to both of you. And I think there are still some interesting exchanges in the chat window. Uh, we have run out of time, unfortunately, uh, but I do welcome all of you to continue these discussions on OEG Connect space under the respective session. Thank you very much to both of you. I uh, really appreciate your sharing today and sharing of all of, all of those uh, super useful links. Thank you so much. Thank you.